people my people I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, new look um, shorts it was a blast to make them and this is the longer review of Dasher and Fisher coastal gin subtitled a Tasmanian coastal gin so there is no sound of happiness because this is a screw top the smell of happiness says that there is no doubting that this is a coastal gin uh, it's very salty straight up there on the nose it's very salty there's no mistaking now show them down if you love your coastal gins if you love a nice um saline type gin go no further that's it thank you very much you don't need really need to continue watching um this review is done for you so for those of us who are a bit more curious and or less satisfied ice cube um leftovers because i got this at a juniper palooza and basically i'm running out of gin second shot you notice how much it's not in a small bottle which means my other half will not be trying this gin it's one of the sacrifices i make now i'm going to be drinking this with um fever treat mediterranean which as you know because you've been paying attention to my channel um actually make sure that you um have a good citrus forward taste so i'm going to give her about 50-50, cut it one, one to one, and bottle is empty, folks. But I shall wring the last of the bottle out because this is my second try on this, and this is a truly delightful gin. Um, by memory, it's the second dash from Fisher that I've tried, and I've liked both of them. Lots of good things happening in Tassie. I should get across to Tassie um, when my kids stop eating okay so we already know it's a coastal gin there's the write-up says that there's lots of um sea vegetables there's with kami seaweed in it tassie is where you may not know that a lot of the um well your beer basically has seaweed in it to help doing a whole lot of frothing and stuff that i don't understand but a lot of it's harvested in bass Strait and dash and Fisher are actually are actually one system that bought them they face bass Strait. so lots of good stuff comes out of bass Strait. Um, this is a prime example of what comes out of Dash and Fisher. With the Mediterranean tonic, it is just ideal. Um, I would knock this back with um, oysters or natural. It's basically oysters in the shell with a squeeze of lemon. Um, and that's about it. Uh, bright, sunny summer's day overlooking a stretch of salt water because it just things go together. Um, and this very much brings me to mind of a um, event about 20 years ago, it turns out, because this is getting gray, of where I was overlooking um, the Coral Sea with my mother. I took my mum out because I visited my hometown, Mackay, and um, I forget the hotel. Since COVID, this has gone a bit weird. And so I tipped some um, wine into my mother and then proceeded to ask the lowest, most loaded question. Um, how was my father as a husband? And my mother had divorced him at that point. And after about 15 minutes, it was, uh, mum, I'm too young to know this. And I was 36 at the time. A part, I, what the thing is, is that I shouldn't have been drinking the beer I was at the time. And my mother shouldn't have been drinking the crisp white. We should have been drinking this stuff at the time. And more likely I would have ended up a whole lot less traumatised. Because by then I would have been, well and surely, having a deep relationship with a um, glass like this. Mm. So that whole bright sunny day, light on the water. Um, if you like, if you've loved the um, Manly Spirits Coast um, Australian Dry Gin. That one. Sorry. That one. 
then you are going to love this. This is just fantastic. And I'm going to look at the bottle, and the bottle says it's actually won an award. Okay, so it says it picked up gold in London Spirits Competition 2022. And damn well it should have. Um, if you have the misfortune of not living in Tassie, such as I do, um, you can actually buy it online. Otherwise, you can do the really annoying thing, which I like to do, is go to your local um, bottle shop, like, um, I don't know, Grape and Grain and Moorabbin, and say, dude, we want the Dash and Fisher. Dude, when are you going to get the Dash and Fisher? Hey, dude. And they'll eventually go, oh, just go off and bother someone else and hopefully get it in for you. But if you make enough presents to get this award-winning gin, then you will be amply rewarded with this just delightful stuff. It's salt forward. It's perfect for the hot summer summer's day or a day where it's just a bright sunny bright day overlooking the drink. Um, knock it back with seafood, and you are going to be one very 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 happy camper. And my one regret is that because I've become vegetarian, I don't eat oysters also um, my budget doesn't quite extend that far having said that yours should and your budget should extend to watching the short new uh, look shorts that I've been doing courtesy of um, spending a short time on computing software over and uh, computers and computing software over summer thank you for watching next week it's going to be a Navy event okay um, we got uh, Yak Creek from my recent adventure up in the Northeast their Navy and I'm going to go to Hurdle Creek, um, which was their navy. And Hurdle Creek is my um, brush with fame because Simon um, Brook Taylor is Tim Brook Taylor of the goodies, goody, goody, goodies, um, cousin. And I'm just showing my age. So they're the ones that I look forward to. I'm also going to more than likely do Hurdle Creek's Geneva. And Geneva is a precursor to gin. I don't know how close to that is to what they drank in the 16th and 17th century when they were off having the um, Protestant skilled Catholics event in Europe, but we're going to find out. The sacrifices make for you. Thank you for watching, my people, my people, and stay tuned. I got new technology. I'm bored. What could possibly happen? Yeah, you stop being tra so traumatized, and I'll catch you. Remember, stay tuned, follow, subscribe. And there's that giveaway.